Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, this is a special edition show today. This show is all about the truth of creatine. I'm gonna bust some myths, and I'm bringing you the truth. So, first of all, let's talk about creatine monohydrate. To set the record straight, Dr. Jeff was the first one to bring it to the marketplace back in the early 90s. Not anyone else who claims they brought it to the marketplace, it was me. That's a story for another day. So the reason why I say that is I've been working with creatine for a number of years um, and have experienced and have seen every different type of creatine. But the thing that amazes me is since my release of my patented stable form, uh, Crealkaline, I still have a lot of skeptics that out of their ignorance say things such as, oh, Crealkaline doesn't work, creatine monohydrate works better. Well, today I'm gonna talk to you about the history of creatine. So let me put it into words that uh, you might understand. Let's go back in time. Do you remember your first cell phone? I do because I got it. You all might not have uh, had one of these. Great phone for the time. Came out in the late 80s. Can you hear me now? Man, they were like $4 a minute. It was hard to hear. Um, always drop calls but you know what you can make calls on it just had a whole bunch of flaws then later on as technology increased we got rid of that phone and we got into the flip oh let me get the antenna up same problem very expensive uh, plans were bad had to use a lot of minutes uh, it was tough to call from certain places um, always calls were dropped, you know, can you hear me now, uh, always went on. So again, a great phone for the time. Then we moved on to German technology. Let me get the antenna up, a little more streamlined. Still better plans, was still fairly expensive to use. Um, you still had troubles traveling some places. Um, technology was getting better, but again, you know, hard to hear. Uh, lots of different side effects and flaws uh, in these phones. And then we moved on to, remember these little guys? All right, again, you know, good technology for the time. Lots of flaws. My phone today, an iPhone. Anybody got an iPhone? Great technology relatively inexpensive to use because you buy a plan unlimited minutes i never lose calls it works anywhere in the country matter of fact this phone works anywhere in the world now what is the difference between my new iphone and my old brick phone both of them are phones both of them make calls and that's where i'm getting at creatine monohydrate was a great product when it first came out, but everyone knew that it had a flaw. It is unstable in solution, and in the stomach, it instantaneously converts to creatinine. When these phones came out, everyone knew they weren't as good as a landline. They had flaws, they were expensive. Creatine monohydrate, brick phones. Crealkaline, fixed all the problems of creatine monohydrate. Crealkaline is still creatine monohydrate. It just has been buffered during the manufacturing process by elevating the pH and that's what stabilized it. So to say creatine monohydrate is better than crealkaline is like saying my old brick phone is better than my iPhone. How ridiculous. Can I still make calls on this? Actually, this phone still works. Do I still have all the same flaws? Absolutely. Can I still use creatine monohydrate? Knock yourself out. 
Do you got flaws? You sure do. Are there side effects? Absolutely. Does it convert to creatinine? It sure does. Move up to the iPhone stage. Get on Crealcalin. Now you might say, I don't have an iPhone, I have a droid. This is just a symbol of new technology. <laughs> so if you're a droid dude and you're not a, an iPhone, that's fine. Sorry to offend you um, if you're not into Apple. But my point is, technology increases over the years. So whether it's cell phone technology or creatine technology, you know, as I said, when I developed Crealcalin, it was because creatine monohydrate was a great product for the time. It's the number one research form. It really works, but it came with side effects because it's not stable in solution. It converts to creatinine. Folks, creatinine is a bio waste. I had people saying creatinine was good for you. What a ridiculous thing to say. When you go and you have your kidneys checked, the marker is they check for your creatinine levels. Now remember, your body's normal process for burning, spending creatine is to convert it into creatinine. Similar to gasoline comes into exhaust. You know, that is your byproduct. But it's not good. That's why your body has to excrete it. It has to get rid of it. Why would you want to be taking in creatinine? That's a bio waste. It's toxic. It causes all the side effects, the bloating, the cramping, um, dehydration. It can lead to all different types of ailments. I don't want to be ingesting that. Wouldn't it be better to be taking a stable form of creatine monohydrate? Now you're thinking, it must be more expensive. No, it's not. You've got to use 10, 15, 20 grams of creatine monohydrate to get any type of results. You've got to load, you've got to cycle. Crealcalin, you only need 1.5 grams for most of us. If you're a serious athlete, three grams a day. And it's in a capsule form, so it's very, very convenient to take. No more mixing and choking it down and trying to figure out how to drink this stuff. So this per serving is actually less expensive. But again, you get all the benefits of creatine monohydrate without any of the flaws, any of the side effects. So I hope that answers the question on what is the difference between crealcalin and creatine monohydrate. Crealcalin is creatine monohydrate. It's buffered. It's stable. It's the only patented stable form. So again, brick phone, I don't care. Flip phone, German phone, it's all the same. I don't care where your creatine is made. Germany, USA, creatine, it all has, or uh, China, it all has a flaw. Instantaneously, it converts to creatinine. And again, you don't want to be ingesting creatinine. You want to be having all of the power of creatine hitting your bloodstream. Now, what about all these other um, generic forms, so to say? Creatine HCL, creatine nitrate. Well, that's like taking this and cutting it in half or using a CB radio or Snapchat, uh, the phone feature that works half the time. Folks, to make those products, they take regular creatine monohydrate, they react it with an acid. The whole idea is they're trying to get it to go into solution better. Well, who cares? Creatine monohydrate is already water soluble at the amounts that we use. What happens is, when they subject that acid to these other forms, they are increasing the amount of creatinine in the product and they're decreasing the amount of actual active creatine. Creatine monohydrate is 99% pure creatine monohydrate. You know, their product is only 50%, 40%, 30%. So again, you know, it's like cutting it in half. You might as well take your creatine monohydrate, throw half of the bottle out, and that's like buying creatine HCL or creatine nitrate or creatine AKG or who knows what the next great form of creatine monohydrate that someone's going to come out with. Remember, there's only one patented form, crealcalin. You want to give it a try? Don't take my word for it. Send me an email. I'd love to send you out a bottle. So, let's wrap it up. Are you going to use an iPhone? <laughs> Or are you going to use my old brick phone?
For those of you that want to use this, knock yourself out. Have fun. Does it work? Yes, it does work. But guess what? I'm going to be performing better than you, guaranteed, because I have the latest technology. And that means I'm going to outperform you. I'm going to outrun you. I'm going to outjump you. I'm going to outlift you. That's what it's all about. Being an athlete is, is about having the edge, having the best. If you aren't fueling your pro body properly with the best foods, nutrition, supplements, um, if you're not training the hardest, you're going to be just another, I was going to say has been, but I'm not going to say anything derogatory. You're not going to make it, man. You're not going to reach your goals. You're not going to get it to the next level unless you have the best. So anyway, hope that answers your questions about uh, creatine. Take care and uh, thank you, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.